a little dusty, but it's okay. <laughs> timestamps. Oh, gotta turn the camera on. I'm always wanting to mark timestamps in my vlog. It's 11, 12 in the morning. Um, we have sun today, y'all. We have sun, we have light. <laughs> Seattle, living in Washington for the past two years has been, there are a number of challenges and just and like things that you have to get used to living here, right? You have to get used to the weather change because no, it's not terrible in rain, but there's a weather change nonetheless. You have to get used to the time difference. You more specifically, like, you know, in the summer being bright outside till almost past 1030. And in the winter for like four months, it not showing any sun until eight, sometimes almost nine o'clock, depending. Um, you have to get used to the fluctuation and the randomness of the weather, <laughs> like going back and forth between like the sun is out right now. I have not read any weather reports. I'm not gonna do it because it's gonna make me sad if I know like rain is coming at two o'clock or something like that. Spring hits and you get past the initial rainy season. Like you get past February, you get past March. And this is March now, it's March 1st or March 2nd. So we are already getting some spring. But once you get past March, from like April <laughs> to I'm gonna say, September, maybe like mid-September, not even mid-September, maybe beginning of September, it's amazing. It's not too hot. You do get like two full hot months, like where there's some 90 days, but get used to it. I actually enjoyed it and I was very shocked that I enjoyed it and it was a vibe. Anyway, that was such a random rant for three minutes. It is Saturday. My home is in shambles. I'm sitting outside because I need to sit for like maybe five minutes. There's a butterfly. Is that a butterfly? No, that's a leaf. <laughs> sit outside for like five, just a few minutes, y'all. I just need to sit outside for a second um, to kind of gather my thoughts because we have cleaning to do. We have some organizing to do and I can't organize my thoughts in there right now. <laughs> Drinking my extremely cold cup of coffee that has been microwaved twice. I just added cream to it. <laughs> because I was like, at this point, it's really just like a room temperature ice coffee because without the ice. Update. Finicky. Finicky, the lighting situation can be. Y'all see how easy that was? I think we're gonna wash kitchen towels and rugs right now because the load of clothes that I have is small. I forgot I did a whole bunch of laundry yesterday.
Okay, thumbs up. We got Oakley's little play area all taken care of. Um, that's all I can say is thumbs up. I'm like out of breath and tired already. But we're gonna keep pushing through. So let's go to the bathroom. way I woke up regretting last night knowing that I need to be in bed on time I don't know what came over me but truthfully my husband has a very interesting work schedule so he works every other weekend plus he works 12 hour days so that meant that I really did not see him Friday Saturday or Sunday so Sunday night when he got home it was like we were getting ready for our Saturday I mean we watched movies I washed my hair blow dried my hair did laundry edited a video we even got Oakley down for bed on time all I know is that I looked up at 11:11. we were eating red velvet cake and ice cream in bed chilling like I had nothing to do the next day or like my child was not going to be up looking for breakfast first thing in the morning the crazy thing is the next day he also had to get up early to go and handle some stuff y'all we really was on one but anyway y'all know when that alarm went off and I heard the little girl over in her room talking about some IPP I had to get up 
decided this morning that I was going to fix myself iced coffee instead of hot coffee. I don't know what came over me. These pregnancy cravings honestly are starting to get a little weird. Little mommy woke up cuddling and she has now been able to count from one to 10 without help. So every morning or just whenever she feels like it, she will stop you and just start counting from one to 10 and you must listen. Then of course it wouldn't be me if I wasn't nosy looking out the window. Y'all somebody new was moving in and I had to see, I've been noticing a lot of young college kids coming over here. Please don't come over here with that loudness. We don't want it. Made myself some breakfast and I've been adding cheese to my eggs. I'm telling y'all, every, well, this is the second time I've been pregnant, but these pregnancy symptoms, I'm always craving stuff I would never eat on a regular. I'm not really a fan of iced coffee unless it's like randomly during the middle of the day. And I do not like cheese eggs. Where is this coming from? Went ahead and made up my bed. And I just want to say that this mom cozy pillow has been blessing my marriage. I will explain later in a separate video how it has been blessing my marriage. But if you know, you know, if your husband is tall like mine or your previous pregnancy pillows took up your entire bed, this is the pregnancy pillow that you need. I'm just throwing that out there. I'll talk about my hair later, but y'all don't know this, but my husband is actually in a branch of the military and he has been on leave for quite some time. And y'all, it was time for the beard to go. I literally could have cried, but I didn't want to show him that I was sad. So he kind of let me play on his face just a little bit and shave some of his beard off before he actually went in with the trimmers to clip it off the rest of himself. Of course, I wouldn't be me if I didn't get laundry done. We actually were getting ready to leave the house. And so he was getting Oakley dressed while I was trying to squeeze in some last minute chores because it's just oh y'all I've been slacking and it's something about leaving the house an absolute mess if you know you're gonna be gone for a couple hours I just cannot do I really have been trying to give myself grace I'm working listen I'm a work in progress okay if you're looking for perfection wrong page over here because it's just not gonna happen I wake up with dishes in my sink and sometimes I forget to vacuum for a week it just happens but I'm learning like I said to give myself grace I am a perfectionist and somehow some kind of way God y'all let me tell y'all God is so good every place or thing or group or person that over the years I kind of found myself trying to please and just really show up for you know and really give my all the places and things that actually made me really doubt myself even more I just realized this this morning in devotion God literally stripped when I say stripped stripped all of those things people places groups away from me over the last four years and I think this is the first time that I felt the most detached in a good way Anyway, that's another sermon for another day. I went ahead and did Oakley's hair. We did a little twist out earlier, so I went ahead and took those twists down. If you struggle with keeping your baby's hair moisturized, if you don't take anything else I've said, that Bonita Afro Balm has been the truth for both of our hair. Anyway, we were all done, headed off to find little mommy some spring clothes and gym shoes. It's finally official y'all. After two years of being married, your girl is finally registered as a military spouse. <laughs> I know y'all thought that was going somewhere else, but no, I'm finally registered as a military spouse. I cannot believe, first of all, that we have already been married for two and a half years. Shout out to all the winter slash fall couples who got married in the cold like we did. We've been putting this off for a very long time, but I'm so happy that my husband was on top of it and we took care of this because for the longest time, I haven't been able to really take advantage of any of the benefits it's going on base to the commissary anything like that so now i can finally do those things alone without him coming with me and if y'all have never been onto a military base it's like a whole little town which i'm always so fascinated at asking him questions and i think yesterday he was kind of just like babe can you just can we just sit for a moment like I can answer your questions in a little bit, but it's just always so fascinating to me. I'm like, are those the houses? Now, what building is that? So planes take off over there. Bay, is this why you buy uniforms? Why y'all gas so cheap? <laughs> I had all the questions, but anyway, this was Oakley's first time actually going on base two and my first time in a year. We had to actually be there pretty early in the morning. So this was actually really early. 
Um, we only had about 30 minutes to get dressed, eat breakfast, get Oakley dressed. So I got up super duper early, which is why I'm already dressed. Y'all know I typically do not start vlogs out dressed already, but yeah, I had to hurry up and get dressed at like 5.30 this morning so we could be ready to go. And I also wanna give a shout out and say congratulations to my husband, y'all, because he was promoted, okay? My man, thank you to my man. Because regardless, he works so hard and he just stays on top of stuff and is so diligent. And I know him being on leave these past, well, I can't even tell y'all how long, it's been a while but being on leave was really hard on him so now that he is back in his groove i know he is just so excited to be back in his element while his people anyway y'all talk to me real nice because y'all gonna want to come to the commissary with me mm -hmm. alexa was just going 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 let me get um <clears throat> let me grab something for my lips real quick hold on here we go that's that's decent every time she sees me putting on lip gloss put your lip gloss on Say, my, 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 Okay, I just gotta answer some emails and stuff, okay? Yeah. Crazy, my hair, I just don't understand, but I'm not even about to trip about it. Y'all just are gonna get this hair looking how it's looking <laughs> right now. Um, today is Wednesday. Typically on Wednesdays, we go to Tumble Tots. Well, y'all, today we're actually skipping tumble tots. Little mommy is currently constipated. I hate to put your business out there like that, ugly, but. And we've been doing some methods. And so I just want to keep her here in the event, <laughs> which is what I'm hoping that this morning at some point she will have a, um, a movement. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we're hoping for. That's what we're aiming for. Should I close? I don't want to close these because I like the lights. Hopefully it's not too bad. But yeah, that's what we're hoping for, aiming for, for her to have a little movement this morning. Um, it's been a few days. It's, it's common, but it's definitely nerve wracking. Like what is, you know, what is going on? You know, parenting struggles because yeah, I don't know, but I'm really praying, 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 praying right now that she would have a movement at some point today. Um, I really don't know, y'all. I genuinely don't know. I have no clue because she's not like this. Oakley is a on the clock kind of girl. She doesn't really throw us off like this. So I'm trying to really monitor and figure it out. And I think today we're going to stay here. Um, we are going to run to either Target or Walmart at some point to do some household like pickups. But other than that, we're going to be in the house. We have everything we need for dinner. Um, and yeah, that's the vibes. We're going to vlog today. Finally got to get registered as a military spouse. Um, my husband is in a branch of the military. So finally, girl, I got to get <laughs> registered as a military spouse, meaning I have an ID. Meaning, you know what I'm saying? Like, I could go on base if need be and run up to the commissary, which is something that we have not done in a while. My husband's been on leave for some time, so he and I both got everything taken together, registered, got Oakley taken care of as a kid, all that stuff. So that was really cool because it just felt like, you know how you have one of those things on your to-do list for a very, 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 very long time? I mean, like, we've been married for two years now, y'all, like... <laughs> two years one kid already one on the way like it's just it's really giving procrastination it's really giving putting off but it wasn't procrastination or putting off it literally was like system and timing so finally we were able to go do that and it was very exciting a very exciting morning in the foster household yesterday yesterday um but needless to say we got it done and i'm so glad that we did and proud of my husband he got promoted y'all Listen, God don't care about timing and he don't care about the situation. How a man only, like, so proud of him. He still got promoted and he's doing amazing things. So, um, we were proud of daddy, proud to go with him yesterday and see him in action. But yeah, that was yesterday morning. I started vlogging and then as I was vlogging, I was like, um, today might not be, or this morning is not the time to vlog because I mean, like, y'all not about to get me in trouble. <laughs> get me in trouble on the base you know i'm not taking y'all on the base with us to go vlog i'm not saying that i never will but i'm just saying like yesterday was not the day so I, um so right now i am working 
because guys like i really feel like i've been slacking number one i've been slacking on my ugc stuff because i've just been so focused on like this has really been <clears throat> the last two months i've really been focused on building my community and building my community on tiktok and actually having like people to talk to like I don't know. I just didn't have a very strong community over on TikTok, neither on Instagram, which is why I started the whole new Instagram. But I, again, was slacking on that as well. Um, so my goal for the past two months, just on all my socials, really is to build community and just share more like regular, regular, regular content, right? But that means that I've been slacking in the UGC area. And if y'all don't know, if you're new to the channel or if you just have missed some vlogs or whatever, um, we are primarily a one income household right now because I'm a stay at home mom at this point, you know what I'm saying? Um, and um, pursuing my creator career. And y'all know that just being like a standard content creator, like, girl, I've been in this thing for six years on and off. I say six years because I feel like that's when like, I just really got my motive, motivation and like hype in, but for the past two years, more consistent than ever, even on all, <laughs> y'all know what I mean? So like, um, I just feel like, uh, what am I trying to say? We're primarily one income household and y'all know that just being like a solo content creator, it takes time. I don't care if it takes a year, like I don't care. It takes time to really build up, um, you know, getting brand deals and things like that. And I get to work with some brands like on some gifted collabs and I've had a few paid opportunities but nothing that you know is as consistent as I would like it to be um YouTube is you know an income source as well for a lot of people but girl you know what I'm saying like you look at my views <laughs> I'm just let's just be real about it like YouTube checks it really takes a lot to get a really decent YouTube check. Like, you know, when I get them checks, that honestly be mama's money. Cause I mean, you know, or just like extra little money to have in my, you know, personal account or whatever. And like I said, I don't get them every week. So I have a goal um, and I'm gonna share it with y'all because I think it's realistic. And I think that, I don't know I just feel God pulling in my heartstrings to share this goal with y'all and take you more on the journey of UGC because um or just you know holding down uh, other streams of income as a stay-at-home mom um because there are just a lot of moms out here trying to do the same thing they're not necessarily like diving straight into maybe content maybe they're doing you know something else maybe they are you know I don't know <clears throat> doing something else on Amazon you know selling something on Amazon or something like that or starting a business or anything like that so um yeah this is this is gonna be a process it's gonna be a journey you're gonna see more videos about it but I'm gonna tell you my goal my goal honestly is to get either like three UGC deals every single month or to at least be able to bring in um an additional maybe 500 to 600 dollars for my family every single month and that's to start I'm not putting no limits on that number. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not putting no limits on that number, but that is my goal. I really enjoy content and I enjoy production and I enjoy creating. I just need to do a better job of focusing on it. And so, um, yeah, that's where we are. Because at one point I would like, I have gotten a few UGC deals. I think all together I've maybe gotten five, but that's sporadic from literally the time that I had Oakley to now. Oakley's 18 months. <laughs> so that's over the last 18 months. I've only gotten five and I know I could do so much better. And there are so many products that I would love to create content for as a UGC creator. So I do have a separate UGC TikTok account because I just feel like that's where I need to be posting my examples for brands to actually see me and like recognize and stuff like that. Um, Cause posting them on my personal TikTok account, not that I can't do that. It's just that I don't want my audience to like like I said, I'm building a community over there. So I don't want to make the purpose of my page, sharing motherhood and lifestyle content to be confused at all. So that's why I just created a separate UGC account. And honestly, it's so much easier. Yes, baby, I'm okay. Are you okay? Okay. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, if you hear Oakley in the background playing with her little piano, I'm sorry. But I pretty much redid the entire um, thing. I wasn't going to at first. I actually was just going to leave my original one the way it was. But this just feels a little bit more concise. It feels a little bit more like, I don't know, it just feels a little cleaner to me. And then I went ahead and just did my little pink theme. I don't know where this pink came from, but for whatever reason, I'm obsessed with pink again. Um, or just, you know, rebranding to do pink. So this is what the final, um, I guess, refresh looks like. I'll just take y'all through a few pages of what I did. Um, but it's really simple, y'all. I just, yeah. It's pretty much the exact same one that you have seen before. Just a little less busy. Very, very simple. Um... I also added the brand names underneath underneath each example video and then we have one page less of example videos and one page less of photos so I feel like that was good enough. Um, here is the services that I offer and then I'm not gonna go well I'll show you my pricing card I really don't care. <laughs> um, this is what my pricing card is pricing and race packages are looking like and then the final final page so yeah, it's feeling a little bit more concise and a little more direct right now. And I'm really enjoying that. And again, keeping with the pink theme, I updated all of my like, this is the original one right here. Um, but I updated all of my, dang, where's my, um, oh, here it is. My bio website, I also updated this so that um, it could have the correct UGC portfolio. And I just made my bio in Canva as well. Um, and this is the link that pretty much sits at like the website a portion of my Instagram and my TikTok. So um, I have this here and yeah, that's that. So we updated that. And I also went ahead and made a whole separate UGC email. I didn't have a separate UGC email that I was using. I was pretty much just doing like UGC stuff and you know, brand type things all from the same email, but it honestly can get a little confusing. So I have a whole separate UGC email now which is cool okay if you guys can hear oakley she is not too happy with me because it's nap time and she doesn't really want to go down for her nap right now um she actually fell asleep on my chest i like to sometimes rock her a few minutes before her nap but she got into a real deep sleep and so now that i put her transferred her to her crib she's she pretty upset with me let's just say that um i'm still in my pajamas y'all that don't really fit that well I'm gonna change in just a minute. Actually, let's go change first. Let's do that first. I'm going in with some plain shea butter because my skin has been, my skin has been dry. I did tone and stuff a little bit ago, but I had these pajamas on yesterday, just once like at home laying in the bed. So I'm gonna put these back on. Okay, much better. If I haven't said it, it's also 12 o'clock. Um, I don't know. The morning just got away from me doing work stuff, so. Um, I also haven't drank that much water this morning. I keep coming back to this cup and just leaving it there. Not the best solution. <laughs> Now we're about to send out some pitch emails. Before I do that, I'm gonna make myself a little protein yogurt. Um, is this protein yogurt or is it just, it's just triple zero, I take that back. With some strawberries and granola as a little snack. Um, we did just eat lunch, but of course I need something else. I need, I need a snack. 